Here, I have a simple building file with two phases, existing and new construction, with some elements that have been demolished and some new elements added, as you can see here. However, I want to be able to change one of these curtain panels to be an external door as part of the changes to the project for new construction. Usually, for an element, to demolish the element at a particular phase, I would simply select the element, set the phase to be demolished, and it would demolish the element at that particular phase. I can do this for a curtain wall in its entirety. However, when I tab to select a particular curtain panel, if it is defined by the type, I must unpin it in order to change it. I cannot actually change the phase that this element was created or to be demolished within. It is defined by that of the curtain wall. So how do we get around that? Well, if I go to my south elevation, which is set to existing, I will select the curtain wall, I will select edit profile, and I will edit the profile around the area that I wish to demolish. Like so. I will then split the lower sketch line and use the trim tool to create a closed boundary. Like so. I will then click finish edit mode. So I go back to my 3D. I can now see that the curtain wall is now missing this panel here. Because the curtain wall is cut out of this external wall here, it is automatically filled in with a section of the external wall. But not to worry. If I go to my existing plan and zoom in, I will select the curtain wall and click create similar to create a new instance of this curtain wall and I will draw it inside the panel pressing spacebar to flip the orientation and then I will place the curtain wall here I get a warning saying highlighted walls overlap so I'll just check in my 3D. I can see that the curtain wall that I've drawn is overlapping the top panel here. So I'll simply drag the curtain wall down. And in my south elevation, I'll drag the curtain wall back up. So it appears this is one curtain wall. However, it is now two curtain walls, one with an edited profile and a simple infill curtain wall within the edited out section. Because this is now an individual curtain wall, I can now set this to be demolished at the phase new construction. Because I'm in the new construction phase for this view and show complete, if I navigate to existing, I can see the existing looking correct, but if I go into new construction, I now need to create a new curtain wall piece with an updated door family within. So all I can do is go to existing, select the curtain wall infill piece, click copy, go to the new construction phase in this view, 
Alternatively, I could go to a new construction floor plan or elevation. And I will paste aligned to same place, like so. I can see the phase created of this element is new construction and it is not demolished at a particular phase. Still in the new construction phase, I can start to edit this piece of curtain wall. So I can tab to select the lower mullion, unpin and delete. I can then tab to select the curtain panel, unpin and in the type selector, I can choose this glass double door curtain wall door to replace that panel. So that is a workaround for enabling phasing for particular curtain panels. So if I go to existing, we have the original curtain wall with the original glazed panel. And if I go to new construction, I can see the new door family. If I change the phase filter to show previous and demolished, I can see that this curtain wall here is highlighted as demolished, so I can use this for my demolition drawings as well.